Hi guys, so today I have some Stamps by Me products to share with you. They are available right now in HSN. Um, I have a couple different paper bundles. We did see one in a previous video, so I'll talk about it quickly, but the other one I will go through each design. <laughs> and then we have a bundle here. Uh, very much groovy kind of stuff. So you have the groovy paper pad, you have the Disco Fever paper pad, and then this kind of groovy bundle here that has all kinds of dies and stamps and stencils and all kinds of fun things. So we'll check that out in just a minute. So these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. Really cool that um, Tony, the lady that um, has created this Stamps by Me um, company, uh, she has these QR codes that you can scan and see more about the items or how you might want to use them, tutorials, those kinds of things. So um, you always want to check that out. So this one is the little cover for uh, the Disco Fever paper pack. So let's open this guy up. And I believe it's 75 sheets. They're 5 by 7 25 designs, uh, three of each, you know, and they're single-sided. So um, as you can see. And let's check these guys out. Again, they have that amazing, like... Uh, fresh paper off the presses kind of scent to them. I really like that. So Disco Fever, you got your Disco Balls over here. I mean, look at that. So I'm going to try to show you each and every one of them, but if I fan them out in a funky way, that maybe I might skip one. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. So cool. I love just all the pinks and purples and things that are in there. Little teals in the background. Very much Disco Balls, all these first ones here. And look at that one. You got your. It reminds me of, I guess, like a dance floor, but it reminds me of the, like a roller rink back in the day. <laughs> there you go. The disco balls on that one. Very digital looking on this one. Like galactic kind of feel. Again, blues, purples, pinks. Lots of fun colors in this one. This one's more subdued and it's like the silver grayscale. Look at that. <laughs> Got your dance floor going very um, Saturday Night Fever here. <laughs> there you go. Uh, really cool. Super cool papers. Look at that. That one has more of a blue feel with that grayscale. Very, very cool. And we're almost to the last couple ones here. This one has more of a blue feel in the background. And then this guy. Oh, I love that. I love all the colors in there. So that's a Disco Fever. This um, groovy one, again, we went through the other day when I was doing the shaped card for the um, Set Me Free set, but I did go through each one of those, so I can link that video because, you know, I went already through all of them in there, but you can get the feel of these guys. Super groovy, really cute, very twiggy. It reminds me of, you know, just very cool. So you can check that out. I'll link that video. And then we have this bundle. So this is what's going to bring our papers to life. Um, again, you have a QR code there, so you can check some different ideas out. And, I mean, look at this. And for me, you know, I love die cutting, so I was thinking, okay, I'll probably stick to the die cutting, but we'll see. So it has Take It Easy Stamp Set, Funky Floral Die Set, Happy Feet Die Set, Boogie On Down Stencil, Let's Boogie Stamp and Die Set, Disco Time Stencil Set, Dancing Feet Stencil Set, and Step Out in Style Die Set. So let's check that out. So there's a take it easy. Again, I believe these are acrylic stamps. Um, I'm not sure it says on there. Scan use code. She always has a little code there for everything. Take it easy. You are magic. Hello sunshine. Have fun. Birthday babe. Good vibes only. Very cute. And then the silhouettes of the uh, kind of disco dancers here. <laughs> I love that. Very, very much. Um, and then this is the funky floral, and you can uh, layer these up really, really super cute. So you see this, you know, flower, but this one also layers on top of that one. That can layer on top of that, and then this can layer on top of this. So it can make one flower with, you know, the four layers, or use them separately or however you like. Um, this is the step out in style. Oh my gosh, how funny. Okay, so this is the die for that set, but you also have stencils. It does look like it has a sentiment or something like that, so I don't know if that's on here. Oh, it is. Okay. So, the platforms, <laughs> the uh, base part of your platform shoes or boots, the decorative part, we have like a leopard print and like a daisy, big daisy print, 
Um, this one can do um, like a little swirl design if you like. So obviously you're not going to put them together. It would be this one or these guys, the butterflies. And then the words happy birthday. And then like um, a part of the happy birthday that makes it look like it's um, like 3D. That's very cool. And then this one has stars and then just like a little lightning bolt for your uh, platforms. So different ways to decorate them. And then you can cut them out with this. And then you have the words. That's really, really smart. So we have those guys. Um, stencil very much looks like a dance floor, you know. So you have that um, kind of like a light up floor, and then the lighting in the background. You have this big disco ball with like the little stars that go along with it. Oh, and this one has a die, so it has the words "Let's Boogie" and then the background for that, and then also you can cut the disco ball itself out. Oh, okay. And then we have this. Um, stencil set for the disco ball and I'm assuming they go together so maybe if you don't want to use the stamp you can still use the die I'm assuming the stamp also will work with that for like more lines you know added um, detail so you have that guy and then number two and number three and number four so again you know pinks purples teals maybe some black or whatever it look really really cool Okay guys, so let me show you some of the examples here. I'm going to gather my thoughts and I mean these little boots with the stencils really have me thinking because I want to do something like this but I'm like oh these are so cute. Um, okay well uh, let me grab some papers some inks and things and we'll get started. Okay guys, so I think what I'm going to do is do the uh, boots. They are too cute. I gotta try these out. So I have that. They were in here so that's what I have there. I have the dies for it too but we'll pull those out in just a minute because I want to do my um, card base so I decided to go with a mini slimline and so for me a slimline card is three and a half by eight and a half so mini slimline is three and a half by six at least in my opinion you can do whatever sizing you like for that size and I think for the background paper I'm going to use this gorgeous one the disco paper here so three and a half by six I'm going to cut this at five and seven eighths let's see where are we at five and seven eighths right here by three and three eighths. Uh, I want more of this side of the paper. Well, this is really cute too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, uh, three and three eighths. And I'll just go ahead and glue that down just so we have our card base good to go. And then I just have some white paper that we're going to do some stenciling for the boots. And I think I'll do the pair of boots and I think I'll do the happy birthday that's in there too. Like, why not? Of course, you have all the stamps and other fun things to play with there for your sentiment but let's put this on here oh you know what this is so cute I'm doing it to uh, portrait but you can definitely go landscape too I could have done that but I think I'm gonna put them, the pair of boots kind of and I'll do a pair so two of them I will be right back actually I'm just gonna take a moment to cut this down boots are pretty big but I'm just going to kind of eyeball about how much of this I need I don't need all that and this is just some white cardstock that I had in my stash. And let's see what we have. So we have the platform. I mean, you can mix and match the shoesies. And then a background color. And then some accent colors, like if you want to do the, or detailed pieces, I guess. So uh, let's do the flowers. So if we're going to start here, uh, I'm just going to give myself the space I need for that. About there, and I'll have space down here for the other one. So I'm just going to go kind of willy nilly on this one because I don't think it's I think too technical about it. So let's go with some black ink, and I'm just holding it. I'm just gonna get in here, and then I'm do a second one down lower. So have them both, kind of concentrating the dark part of it towards the top. But I mean, you can just fill it in. That is so cool. Okay, so that one. And then, like, way down here, I'll bring the other one. I'm assuming the die is going to cut pretty close. So I'm going to bring this guy down here and do it again. A little bit darker there. Very good good oh my gosh and I'm thinking like pinks and purple or what do you guys think why not so let's see yeah 
Um, and you know, if you just want to go in with like the detail, that'd be really cute too, because I know a lot of times it'd be like white and like purple flowers, or white and like pink flower, or whatever. You know, whatever you're gonna do. I am gonna go pink and then purple flowers, but however you think would be cute. Now you do have registration marks. She has these little hearts that you can color in. I'm just gonna go for it, but just keep that in mind. And this time I might put a little bit of tape, just so that I don't end up moving this too much. Um, let me see here. You know, I like to use pinks and reds, so I'm like, I know I have something with a pink or red head on it. There we go. These are so cute. Again, kind of really laying on the color, this top area, and kind of letting it fade out down here. But, I mean, you can definitely just lay on the color however you like. Cute. And then bring it over here. I'm just lining it up with the boot base there. Ooh, this is close to that one. <laughs> we will see. If I have to redo one of them, I'll just redo one of them. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it might be a little close to that guy. We'll see. Okay. Um, and then let me go with this guy. And I was going to do maybe something purple. So let me grab some purple ink. And this one, you know, I'm kind of eyeballing the bottom of the flower since I didn't use the registration marks and where that might hit around here and up at the top too because I can see it's a little bit too much on that side something like that Maybe a little further in here okay I'll be right back okay guys I have this little purple and I'm just gonna kind of hold that there cute I kind of like leaving it stencil looking, but I'm going to try to fill it in. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with the second one. Really get that color on there. Look how cute. Okay, I'll do the second one and I'll be right back. Both my boots here. And these are a good size boot. <laughs> really nice focal points. Um, I'm going to try and get this guy here. Not try and get it. I'm going to get it. We need it. So there we go. Um, again, we have a background piece, and then you have like the one that's a little bit closer. And I hope it's really close because of how close I got this to that guy. So I think we're going to be okay, possibly. Um, I could just eyeball it, and you can see that that wasn't too bad. But what I'm going to do... Ooh, you know what? I was going to say, I was just going to do a little something. Maybe we should drop shadow it. So what if I grab this gold paper? I know it's out there. I need a bigger piece than that. Like this piece. Because I want to make a um, guide for myself. So we can use it as a drop shadow. Maybe silver would be cute color to use for that. Uh, let me grab a piece of this. Now for this one... Let's have it flap up right here. So I'm going to run this through. Um, no, not that one. No, it's just like a smaller folder. I'm going to run this through. Sorry if I shake the camera. And then bring this guy back. And then do not remove this, just flap it up like that so you can see exactly where you're cutting. Oh my goodness. That is like perfect. Um, right there. And what I'm going to do is just lower that back. Make sure it's in the same recess, you know, that it's really got right back in there. Add another little piece of tape. Did it move? It sure did. <laughs> That's why we're going to add another piece of tape. Let's do that again. So that one piece of tape is there to hold, you know, your die in place, but it's not really going to help you too much with this other part. So definitely want to put that on there. And touching your die, or, you know, the area that you stamped, touching the paper, then bring it back. And 
Even at that, I'll still hold it as I'm pushing this through. Just to make sure I got that. And I'll use that same aperture to cut out the second one, too. So we've already done it once, but I'll use the same one. Ooh, there we go. To cut out our second boot. Oh my gosh, look at that. Awesome. Okay, there's a little bit of the gold paper. What happens is it'll shave off the smallest amount and it'll stick to your next one, but there you go. All right, okay, I'll the second so one. I'll be right back. Same aperture to cut this guy out. And I mean, you guys, pretty good. We're gonna put them on here like this on our card anyway. So we do have this guy for a drop shadow if we wanna do a drop shadow. You know, something to think about, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a really, really close one, that'd be cute. Okay, so let me go ahead and run this die through one more time. But you also have a background die, so you don't have to do the drop shadow. I just did that because I needed to make my aperture anyway, like to help me out. But you also, you do also have this guy that will cut one out that's a little bit larger if you want to put it behind that way, right? So, something to think about. Um, and then we also have the happy birthday here that we're going to stencil and cut out. So we'll do that in just a minute. Let me go ahead and grab another gold drop shadow shoe, and I will be right back. Okay. And like I said, I'll probably put these really close to together. So I'm gonna put this over here. The drop shadow portion. So I'm just gonna take some glue. Get those really close to each other. So, you know, get your glue on there. And again, a really small drop shadow, maybe a little bit down into, but really tight. So you can just see some there and some gold here. I'll do the same thing with the other shoe and I'll be right back. Before I do the other stenciling, I just really want to see these <laughs> shadows. So, what I'm going to do is run this lady through some black. Ooh, some glossy black paper would be nice, or glitter paper just to make her pop, but I just kind of want her back there, and I have this black piece of paper right here already, so... Oh, she fits this way. Perfect. <laughs> this is a 5 by 7 piece of paper, so you can see on the 5-inch side, that's about how much she takes up. I'll run this through, and I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> I do want the die, but I also want the cutout. Look how funny. Isn't that weird? It just, like, got itself up top. Kind of interesting. I mean, you guys, how fun. Look at her shape. I love everything that's going on here. <laughs> her pants. It's perfect. Um, okay, so if we have her back there, yes, yes, yes. And then, like, happy birthday or something. Okay, let's put her back here. I am loving this shadow. Oh, my gosh. What about if you use the part that got cut out as a stencil? <gasps> you know what I'm saying? The negative. Um, okay, let's hold this guy or this gal up here. And like I said, I'll probably put the happy birthday somewhere down here. I know I cut this one out a little nicer than like this one. So what I'm going to do is have this one up top. And this one can be kind of in the background. So this guy I'm just going to glue down already. Like right down here. And I'm going to get some dimensionals on this guy and pop them up just like right here. And then we'll have our happy birthday or however somewhere in here. So let me get some dimensionals on that and then we'll top it off. I think I got all the carriers off this. I use a lower profile dimensional. That way when I put the happy birthday, it might be up a little bit higher. Um, but like in here. Cute. And this is a mini slimline. There's a lot going on there. I mean, we could have drop shadowed her in gold too. I mean, I just wanted her to kind of be in the background, but something to think about. And then we have the happy birthday still on these guys. So happy birthday and then like the kind of color coming away from that. So I'm thinking maybe I do this one in pink. I was going to go pink and like blue just to bring some other color in kind of from the background. But I love the pink. So let's do that. And I'm just holding it. And okay, so we have happy and then the or happy birthday, sorry. And then we have this guy again. I'll just hold it by hand, but what you're doing this time is covering up the lettering. Let me get a little bit closer since I'm not using the registration marks. Uh, the first one's gonna have happy birthday clearly, and then this one you're gonna put this over the lettering you already have going, and you're gonna have like a cool. Like 3D effect coming off of that. That looks good right there. And let's do that again. 
Oh, how about a very light blue? It's almost teal color. It'd be really fun. Kind of Barbie-ish, <laughs> those colors. Um, okay, so let's hold that there. And again, I'm just holding it with my hand. I'm going to pounce because I'm not sure if there's anything that's super delicate in there. And pouncing is usually better than scrubbing if you're not sure. It looks okay. I don't think there's anything in there too delicate. But I am really wanting to make sure I'm getting in there. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut that out. And again, we can just eyeball this, or if you want to really make sure that you have the same exact amount of like white area around it, you know, you can do an aperture just like we did earlier, which I probably will do. So, um, you know what? I'll do it in gold again. So we'll have another gold drop shadow. So let's grab this guy. And, ah, maybe from here. I'll do the same thing. Just hinge this and then look right into that and cut that out and I'll be right back. Again, I just kind of look through that and that's what I have. And since we have a drop shadow or like a little bit of gold, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one together this way so the drop shadow is up towards the top and to the left, okay? Okay guys, I went ahead and glued those together and also added some dimensionals. These are um, higher dimensionals than the two that I added here because if I bring it over here, I'm probably going to have it across here and that'll touch this boot that's already popped up with like a lower profile dimensional so I'm just gonna pop it on here oh my goodness you guys let me turn it over and give that a squish <laughs> so cute so much going on in such a small space of a mini slim line what a fun uh, collection I mean I can't even <laughs> so cute um and so there you go so thanks for watching guys thank you so much stamps money for sending these items for review um you know if you want to deck it out more some rhinestones right to go with the sequins oh my gosh hello anyway <laughs> thanks for watching guys i'll have images coming up i'll have the links in the description box possibly down here in the little shopping bag and i'll see you all at the next one bye now